Dawn is the only spacecraft ever targeted to orbit two extraterrestrial destinations. Dawn went to Vesta, the second most massive object in the main asteroid belt, went into orbit around it, spent 14 months studying it and exploring it, then it left orbit, and now it's on the verge of going into orbit around Ceres and exploring it. In more than 57 years of space exploration, never before have we attempted to orbit two distant extraterrestrial targets. This body has appeared just as a, a faint smudge of light amidst the stars for more than two centuries, and now we're turning it into a richly detailed, fascinating portrait of a complex, fascinating alien world. Thanks to Dawn's unique ion propulsion system, it has a different way of going into orbit around Ceres from what we're used to. It will slowly creep up on Ceres and gently use its ion propulsion system to gracefully slip into orbit. And then it'll spend well over a year exploring Ceres from orbit. The universal um, constant in the search for life is always water. So um, now we're looking at bodies like Europa, the moon of Jupiter, Enceladus, and Ceres as places where um, there may have been life in the past because they have the essential ingredients. They had liquid water or do at the present. Um, they had essential chemical ingredients and they had energy sources. By uh, studying Ceres, which is a, a um, time capsule from the beginning of the solar system, um, we know that we can learn something very uh, fundamental about how our planetary system formed. Dawn's targets, Vesta and Ceres, are um, two protoplanets left over from the very um, early accretionary phase of the solar system. And the, the solar system formed from a, a nebula of gas and dust that then formed um, small pieces um, that created planetesimals, just, just the smallest building block. And these uh, accreted together to form the bigger blocks and eventually what we call protoplanets.